New at 6, Norfolk is getting some new flair in the form of an arts center. But in order for that to happen, an old building had to go. The hundreds put on their hard hats to watch this demolition. As 10 on your size, Joel Hilton reports the new facility will benefit both students and the whole community. It's not something you would expect to see on a Monday morning at the Norfolk Collegiate School. <laughs> But it is something that all these students and faculty have been waiting for for a long time. It's demolition day and these 400 students are here to make sure it's out with the old and in with the school's new $8.5 million Center for the Arts. It's very important that our student body is, is involved in this because this is for the students. A new facility with funding from school supporters and donors brings new classrooms, a chorus room, two art galleries, and a 425-seat professional theater just to start. They're going to be dance rooms. They're going to be um, like studios for the computers. Um, they're going to be humongous stage. You could say all this excitement is just for the fun of education, right? <laughs> well, that's only part of it. Norfolk Collegiate also wants to lend a helping hand to the city it has called home since the late 1940s. This facility, I think, is one of the things that might help revitalize Ward's Corner. Um, it's going to be a resource not just for Norfolk Collegiate School, but for the surrounding community as well. The doors of the new facility will be open to the community for special events and private functions. We see this as an opportunity to, um, to have a facility that is open to the entire region of, of Hampton Roads. But these kids will tell you the sooner these old buildings come down, the sooner they will be able to use their excitement to focus on their future. And for our kids, the impact it's going to have on our arts programs, fine arts, performing arts, communication arts, is really significant. More space, better equipment, and a chance to really be the professionals they're learning to be. In Norfolk, Joel Hilton, 10 your side. And officials hope to have that new Center for the Arts open sometime in spring of 2013.